So the pig just sit there. You want to go hunt the pig, but you don't, you don't cook them. Waste them. It's like what fishermen do, catch fish and leave them on the, leave them with a the rod on the beach. Yeah? That's what sloths the man like that. Oh, I don't like cleaning the fish. It's good fun to catch the fish, but I don't like cleaning the fish because I want to sloth the man. Oh, I like to chase the pig with the dogs and stab the pig. But, oh, I don't like butcher them and haul them out. Of the woods, the forest. That's what slothful man man. Slothful man. The Bible uh, in the King James, uh, Ramia is the word for slothful. And four times the King James interprets the word as uh, deceitful or deceit. That's another thing a slothful man is. He's deceitful. What is that? Deceitful. Huh? Trickery. Oh, he's a tricky bug. Yeah? And then that four times, and then two times it calls a man lazy. A lazy man. A slothful man is one lazy man. <coughs> yeah? Any slothful men in here? No, no, no point in my way. Okay. Number one, uh, and one time, the thing is. The, the, the word is described, uh, is uh, interpreted as uh, idle. What does it mean to be idle? You're not going nowhere. You're staying neutral. You're not going in reverse. You're not going forward. You're idle. Just idling. Before, we used to pull our thumbs when we were idling. Nowadays, everybody say idling like this. Yeah? That's idle. Idle. You're not going nowhere. You guys uh, put on that app on your uh, phone that tracks your screen time. And then the rest of the, at the end of the day, you go back and you check how much idle time you spent hours being idle. Yeah? No well, good that. Junk. An idle man. One time, the King James uh, uses the word slap. One slothful man is one slack man. What is slack? Slack. If you get on a tight rope, the thing says slack. Yeah. <coughs> you see some guys, they get their, their, their slacks down the hill. They slack. They can't even pull up their pants. Slack. Mm. I'm glad none of my daughters marry no slack man. Nobody gets the other word that the King James uses is uh, false. Another one, fake. Hey, baby, I love you. I love you, baby. The mother is one fake. All, all, you know what? You know what? All the guys in this fake, all they like? All they like is to take. They take what you get. Because <coughs> they fake. The last one, uh, one time, the, that same word is uh, guile. Is the, the King James uses the word guile. That's trickery, trick. Why do you got that one? <coughs> Kyoto. Why do you Why do you Yeah, guile. That's what a slothful man is. Yeah. You know the the most slothful man I've ever seen. In my life one time. And you think about one of the, the most slothful man you've ever seen. But I think my number one slothful man I've ever seen was one man when asked his eight-year-old kid, well, we're gonna want beer out of the cooler. But get my beer, go get your own beer. <coughs> you slothful, lazy, idle. Slack, false, kind of tricky. Man, go get your own beer. I tell my grandson, 
you go to get one beer for you out of the cooler. You'll do it for you one time. And the second, how many of you guys saw Max Holloway? Oh, wow, you lickies. Yeah. Try ask my grandson to go grab you one beer out of the cooler. <laughs> We give him Max Holloway. Oh, 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 that guy, he was throwing like six, seven punches one time. Max Holloway. Yeah? Tell me one swathful man and ask some kid that I love and take care of. We'll go get you one beer out of the freezer. More worse, go get one six pack. That's one swathful man. He's going to get Max Holloway. And then he's going to get all the way. <laughs> swathful men. No, man. Swathful man, no can. Usually I don't say no can about anything. I say, uh, if can, can, right? If can, can. If no can, hey, we get bottles. We figure out a way to do it anyway. But slothful men, no can. Yeah? What woman want? Yeah? They don't want to swap them. You gotta be, if you're going to be a man that a woman wants, you're going to have to get yourself prepared. Because you're going to get the woman that you deserve. Yeah? Open up your uh, Bibles, women. Open up your Bibles in Proverbs 31, women. Proverbs 31. So we'll start over here. One verse each. A woman going to read. Read them loud, yeah? Start at uh, number 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her face is far above the 11. The heart of her husband, but safely trusts her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. Wow, the, the, the husband can trust her. Well, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Oh, 13. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh willingly with her hands. 14. She is like the merchant's ships. She bringeth her food from afar. Number is not a good thing. She perceiveth that 50. Oh. She riseth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her 